Hey YouTube, welcome to part 8 of the log splitter build. In this episode we're going to get some of the machine put together, we'll mount the engine, we'll get the splitter blade welded up, get the frame all painted, let's get on with the job. So I've set the top bar on the trailer frame now, let's see if I can zoom in over here, and see I've got that pin in there in the back pivot point, and I've got another pin through there, and I've clamped the two side plates on in position. So that everything's lined up perfectly. I'll tack them in position now and then I'll weld them. I think that pretty much finishes all the welding on the trailer frame then. So I'll just finish welding them now. I've shifted it around so I've got something of an angle to work on. I've finished welding it and I've stuck a coat of paint on it. I can start assembling the pieces of the engine and pump, hydraulic reservoir, etc. on the trailer tomorrow. Alright, now time to put them together. These are a couple of pins that I had left over from the front end loader project. I made a couple too many, so they're coming in handy for this job here. I've drilled them to take a R clip, simple R clip, just to hold them in. I'll lift the main beam down onto the trolley. Yeah, I think I'll do that first, and then I'll put the motor on. Oh dear! Oh, it's a bit heavy. Yeah, I think I can, I think I can. Whoa! Oh, that was heavy. Uh, it's just out of place. Okay, our clip's on. Hopefully, this should just slide in. Okay, that slides in that way. Must be just a bit of paint. A little bit of green paint in the hole there. Now it's got it. Now I'll clip on that side, he's not coming off. Uh, okay, he's there to stay. Next thing to put on is a motor. And I've quite forgotten which way I intended to put that on. I'll have to go and have a look at the plan. Alright, let's see if we can fit the engine. Hope that the bolt holes are in the right spot. Okay, well, I've got to come up from underneath. I can't put the length of the bolt there. Oh, well, there's something I didn't notice. This is threaded. Or is it? No, it's not. It just seems that way. Huh, huh, huh. Holes not the same size all the way through. Bigger at the bottom. Front ones are okay. Just these two back ones. Alright, easy answer. Get a drill and ease the back holes. It's only a shade out. You know, I just eased the holes with the drill. It was just the tiniest little shave off there. The bolt was all but fitting. Okay, that was the two that had to be right. The other two are slotted holes, so they shouldn't give a problem. There's the engine mount. The hydraulic ram can go on next, so I can sort out the splitter plate and finish that. I think that's the right way. I want the hydraulic ports on this side. Pump will be on that side. I'll probably end up using it from this side. So, if I have the handle on this side, I will want the ports around this other side. So that's what I'll do. I'll plan on it that way. There we go. Hydraulic cylinder in place. It's a bit of a grind on the end there. I'll put the rest of the other side on. It can stay on permanent. So I'll do that first and give that a bit of a grind and then we'll set him up. I've ground that a little bit smooth, around to the edges. Now I've just got to work out dead centre for him. Got 80 that side, 74 that side, so it goes a little bit that way. That's not working too well. That's the other way now. 76 each side. There's dead centre. 
a little tack on him to hold this front edge. We'll get the rest right, square him up, put a few more tacks on and then weld him. Now that's good. And the fan needs to go over just a bit. I reckon that's pretty good. Does need to go over a little bit on the top. Got him? Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Well, the thing to do now is take that off and see about welding him up really solid. Just reinforce that tack, I think, before I take it off. Make sure that didn't pull. No, mm, we're good. Right, take him up, get some welds on him. I'm going to run some multi-pass over this. I'm using some 4mm 6010 for the first pass because I want to try and get as much penetration as I can. I'm running it at about 135 amps and the rods rate at 110 to 155 so we'll see how we go at 135. Might need some more amperage on that. That's up a bit higher. There we go up there. Bring him around and do a run down the other side. Have a look and see how that weld looks and decide where I go from here. Now I want to lay a nice bevel in there. I don't think the 6010 is going to do me any more favours. Okay, I've got some 3.2 mil, that's uh, 1 8 of an inch 70 24 rod here. I'm running it up about 170 amps and let's lay some bevel in here with this. Up a little bit higher. See if we can move the cameras around a bit. We can pass. Let's touch up whether I put another few runs down each side or whether I call it good enough. There's some real nice wells. I think I might let that do. Might just put another bit in there at the back. See what I can do with that. Yeah, I should do that. Now, because I took the lazier approach to beveling this front off, I didn't leave the little piece in the centre there to meet up with this. So now I'm going to try and fill that up with weld. At least good enough so nothing gets under it and tries to help lift that off. Let's see how we go. I need a little bit more, but it'll have to be with a thinner rod and a lot less amperage. Probably a thin 7018, I guess, what I got to work with. So I thought the edge is too thin to get any sort of weld on that. So that will have to do. I'll have to just work it with a grinder if it needs any more. I'll have to let that cool a bit now. Now I'll grind off the batter. All right, that can cool. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to download the plans, they're available on my website. But just remember, I'm not an engineer. These plans have worked for me. Your mileage may vary, so use appropriate cautions. If you'd like to see more of my projects, you can go to my channel or browse to my website. Don't forget to click like, comment and subscribe for more. Until next time.